Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review, or overview really, on the LEGO Star Wars exclusive minifigure, Clone Trooper Lieutenant. Uh, this figure was given out uh, during Star Wars Days at Legoland California, and this figure was only available if you entered the Star Wars Trivia Contest. And a little background on that, um, so when I was at uh, Legoland California, I visited that this weekend uh, for Star Wars Days on Saturday and Sunday of June of 2013 and uh, they were giving out this figure or sort of a giveaway if you won the trivia it was sort of like a um, age group thing and you had a team of three to five people and uh, if you won you won this cool little figure right here and uh, you were only allowed one figure uh, and also another way you could get this is if you bought one of the Series 10 minifigures and you traded that for a clone trooper lieutenant which was exactly what I did and I'll give you a little background on that as well. And so uh, the lucky people, which was very hard to win this trivia, they won this figure. This is very hard and was only available at Legoland California, which I mentioned this before. And uh, let's sort of get on to the review here. And uh, as also, um, this figure was rumored to be also available if you purchased, um, I think, $75 or more at the big shop. No, that is not true. I spent $75 or more there. I did not receive him. So uh, the only way you could get this is uh, through the trivia game. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And um, for the figure, um, he is a very cool figure. Probably will never be made again. Now, people who do not have this figure are very hoping they do get it. Um, there are four listings on eBay of him right now. People are bidding at, I think the lowest, lowest I saw was $27 bidding. That's not buy it now. And there was a couple at 70 and 60 and the only buy it now is at $1,000 for this guy. But uh, I'm pretty sure no one's going to buy that. But uh, if you got him, uh, you're very lucky and please, you know, not please, but I very recommend holding on to him. Do not open him in the bag and uh, keeping him because he's very rare at the time. And uh, even though there's nothing really unique except for the color of him, uh, he's still a very cool minifigure. And um, let's get onto the details of him. So let's start in the bag. And um, for um, for the people at Legoland, they said you can only have one of these. And uh, but if you went both days, like I did um, for Saturday and Sunday, you could get one of each. So that's what I did. And I what I did is kept one sealed in the bag, so I could have one for myself as well. So this guy's sealed in the bag, all new. You can see that. And I will show you that immediately. So uh, he, if you can see his helmet in there and stuff like that. Seal, legs, and all that. And so it is a set number, not really set, 5001709. So look for, type in that on eBay and then you'll find this guy if you want to get him really bad. So uh, very cool. Obviously from episode 2, so a phase 1 clone. Clone Trooper Lieutenant. Never remember really seeing these guys in the movie, but still very cool. And um, more of a 501st Legion color here. Um, so, Clone Trooper Lieutenant, five pieces. And so here's the bag, 2013 design. So, uh, my guess is this will be the only other minifigure um, in a poly bag available of 2013 because of the Han Solo figure and uh, because of the uh, because of this figure. So. They usually only do two a year. Last year they did PC-14 and Darth Maul. But um, here's the figure himself. As you can see, he's in a light blue color, which is a very, very cool design. Back printing. And, uh, of course, he's got the Episode 2 clone face, as well as the um, clones in the Clone Troopers vs. Droidicas and some of the other summer sets. So, very cool helmet. Comes with a blaster rifle. Normal white legs, very, very, very nice figure here, even though there's nothing too unique, it's just a very nice addition to anyone's collection, especially if you love clone troopers. I'm sure Lego Boy um, would love to get one of these figures, but he already's got one already. Anyways, um, so that's basically it, nothing really to go over him, he's just like a normal little clone. But um, into details that, uh, he, that he's just a very rare figure as of now. Hopefully, um, BrickPicker.com is saying that this figure will go down in value, um, hopefully to about $100 to $25. So, I'll be looking on eBay every now and then if you, or, Br or BrickLink if you really want one of these. So, um, that's basically all I have to say about this guy. Um, um, if you don't have him, hope that he goes down in value. Um, but, uh, I'm very lucky that I got two. And anyways, I also traded one of the Series 10 figures for him, unopened. One of the Legoland employees. 
gave me that for a Series 10 minifigure. And, but that I traded for a Series 10 minifigure sealed. And one of the ladies was very nice to do that for me. Very hard to negotiate that. And so, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, please, please, uh, please subscribe. It would really help. Uh, especially if you love the Halo, um, Halo Mega Blocks, like I've already said. Um, I've got all the summer sets coming. I've ordered all of them. I'm going to review all of them, of course. And looks like I might be getting the Brute and ODST Battle Pack early. So look on reviews of those. And as of now, this figure is, this is the only review on YouTube or only video of this figure as of now in June 2013. So uh, please don't be commenting saying, oh no, there's other videos. There probably will be in the future, but uh, this is the first one. So uh, that's pretty cool. I also do have another LEGO Star Wars haul video coming next. Um, I got a lot of sets. Uh, just forgot to show you guys in the past, haven't opened some of them, and I got a good amount from Legoland. So uh, that's basically it. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.